In today's tutorial we will paint this cute watercolor mushroom house in Procreate. I will share some cool tips and tricks along the way. So make sure to download all tutorial files in the video description. And if you are ready, let's get started. I've created a vertical canvas with the dimensions of 2K by 2.5K pixels. It will be our workspace. And we will try to cover most of the canvas. In this tutorial, I'm going to use some of the brushes from the cute watercolor bookstore illustration. But this time we will apply them in a completely different way. If you like digital watercolor painting, this tutorial will be just perfect. Hope you will learn some new useful tricks during the process and have fun at the same time. And if you'd like to develop your Procreate skills and take them into a whole new level, I highly recommend you to check out my Patreon account, where you will find more in-depth drawing tutorials in different styles and also premium brush sets. Right now you can join with a free 7 days trial. I'll be happy to see you in this creative community of fellow artists. The link to my Patreon can be found below this video. With that being said, let's begin drawing. For the sketch we can select black color from the disk by double tapping here. Then go to sketching and select 6B pencil. The brush size is set to 15%. And we can draw the mushroom. Start with the stem. Let's make it curvy like this, on the right side. And then draw on the left. Make it wider at the bottom. Now we need to connect them with an arc like this. And at the bottom, draw a bigger arc for the ground. Let it go down here. I will keep the same distance on the sides. And determine the edge with the small curves. Let's keep it. And draw the cap. I'll start from here. Go up with the curve. Try to make it parallel. On this side too. We can now connect these curves. And finish it on the left. Like this. If you try to connect these lines, they should match. Now we can add another shape on top of it. That we can barely see. Because we look at it from the bottom. Let's add some thickness to it. By drawing another parallel curve. It'll go until here. And after that, we can add a few details. So let me draw the first arc here. Then one more at some distance from it. And we can try to add some cracks, just to make it look more interesting. So I will add another line here, very close to this one. Then grab a razor. Remove the short lines. And then draw it like this. It will also get some dimension at the same time. Let's now continue drawing these lines inside. For the Jill. I will add one more here and also transform it into a crack, like this. My eraser is set to medium hard airbrush from airbrush and section. So we can just remove it this way, go back to brush 
and finish it by adding a couple more lines. Let me also adjust it here. I will also erase it inside. And then move to the left. Here it will change the direction according to the curves. Let me also add a crack here. We need to erase these two lines and then connect them again with another angle. Then it will go more to the left. One more arc. Then another one. I will match it with this corner. Then draw again here. Also match it with this one. And finish the small part. Here I will add a crack too. Let me just erase the line. Add another short one here. This is how we see it. I will make a few adjustments. And now it is ready. Let's add some greens. I will just show the shape schematically. With these random curves. So it will go slightly down. From the edge of the cap. And here we can put it on top for the balance. It will go upper. And then hang down. So let me create these curves here. Later we will paint it with a brush. We will get this. And on the right side we can add a few plants. It can be any type of flowers, but I will make them very simple. Draw a few stems here. And then simple ovals. They can be slightly pointy. Let's add some elements inside the stem. I will start with the door. Let's keep the angle. Make it a bit on the right. Then draw another arc. Also go down. Here we can put a handle. And a few lines inside for the wood. Let me move this one. Now I think it is symmetrical. On the right side I will put a bell. Also keep it simple. Draw this detail inside. And since we are looking at it from the bottom, we can see this part from inside. Now when it is ready, we can add a sign right above the door. I will also make it curvy. Add some thickness to it at the bottom, because this is how we can see it. Let me draw on the side. And then write something. Here you can put a name or some other word. I will just write home. 
I will adjust this letter. And now that it is ready, we can add a couple of windows. Let's make this line parallel. Then I will finish this arc here. Also connect it to make it parallel to the ground. And after that we can add the frame. Draw vertically. Then inside the shape. And add a few parallel lines that go horizontally. Like this. Let me just erase these lines inside to make it solid. Now it looks much better. We can draw a similar window on top. It will be the second floor. Drawing an arc first, then connecting it with another one. And adding the frame again, exactly same as we did with the first window. Now we can draw horizontally. And adjust it with the eraser. Like this. Let me go back to brush. So we can paint a bush here on the right side. It will start from the mushroom and go down and to the right. Just put in these curves to show the volume. And on the left side we can draw something else. Let it be another sign. First I will draw these two lines that go vertically. They also have an angle. Then I will add two horizontal lines, some wooden texture and a small triangle on the left. Then inside we can put a rectangle. And the other one will look to the opposite side. First we also need to draw more horizontal lines that go parallel. The angle may change a little bit. Then here we can make it pointy. Draw another horizontal line. Finish the curves and the rectangle. Now I will erase all the unnecessary lines inside to make it clean. Let me also do it here on this one. And it is also ready. Here we can draw a road. It will go from the door down. Along the ground. So let's draw the first arc. Then another one. And make it wider at the lower side. I will outline it more so you can see it. Let me also clean it. And inside it we can add some stones. Let's make them bigger here. Just place them randomly. And I will move gradually up. Just draw within the lines. They may have different shapes and sizes. I will just continue going upper. Make some of them smaller. Then the bigger one here. A few more. But I will try to stay inside the shape. That we determined. Let me put one here. I will try to match them and make it look nice.
We can now finish it this way. And now it is done. We can add some more element on top of it. Like a couple of characters. It can be some insects, like bees or butterflies. Just draw whatever you like. Just try to make it look cute. This is the circle. I will make the eyes closed. And then a cute smile. Very simple body. Then I will draw the stripes because it is a bee. And draw very simple wings. With some details inside them. Let's make them rounded like this. I will fix the head, make it chubby. And here we can put another one. I don't want to copy it. And make it slightly different. So let me make another circle here. Or it may look like a novel. Then draw these things. Two cute eyes. And of course a smile. This one will be flying. So the body will go to the side like this. But also very simple. I will put these lines. And two wings go into the side. Like this. Now, after we did that, we can put some small flowers. There is some empty space here from the left side of the door. Let's make some of them go upper to fill the space. I will just draw simple leaves like this. It can go this way. Maybe another smaller one under the window. Also here on the right side. And on the left as well. Under the sign. Now this is also ready. And we can continue drawing. I want to add the clothesline to make it look even more cute even though bees don't wear clothes. So we can just put an arc here, above the window. It may be slightly touching. And then we can put something here. Like t-shirts or bed sheets or whatever. Let's also draw on the left side from the window. Can be some bigger shape. Then we can put the small rectangles here on top. Now I will draw here on the right. And keep making it smaller and smaller. I think we can put another thing here. I will make it different like this. And the last one. Very small. And simple. Now let's finish it on the left side as well. I will change the angle slightly. Put this short. Let me fix it right away. Just cleaning the shape. And that's it.
Now the sketch is ready. And now we can proceed to the outlining. For the outlines I'm going to use a brush from Calligraphy. So let's open this set. It is in the standard Procreate library. And from here we can select brush pen. I also used it in the bookstore illustration. It is pressure sensitive, feels very natural and works just great. To make the lines thin, we can set the size to 2%. And depending on the pressure, we can get thinner or thicker lines like this. So it works like ink, just perfect. But this time we need to create the outlines on a few separate layers. Let me create the first one. And call it mushroom. This is where we will place almost the entire drawing. Now let's add another layer above it and call it path signs. It will be for this part, because it is intersecting with the mushroom, so when recoloring the outlines, it will be just easier. Let's add one more layer and call it clothes line. This is where we will put this line, because it is on top of the mushroom. Finally, we can add one more layer and call it greens. Here we outline this green part on top of the mushroom. Alright. Now let's go to our first layer with the first sketch and lower its opacity. I will set it to around 27% and start with greens. Here we can also use black color. Just outline the shapes, making these curves. While doing that, I am changing the pressure. And also you can adjust it, if you don't like the original shape too much. Let's now go to this layer with the clothes line and also outline the contour. This time I will try to make it with one stroke to keep it clean. I will just continue doing it. The next part. Trying to change the pressure too, to make it more interesting and natural looking. And we also don't have to connect them. Just make basic outlines. The last part. And we can also try to add some patterns. For example, here we can add diagonal lines. On this one I will put them horizontally. And keep the rest at one color. Alright. Let's go to path signs. 
need to apply them too. We can make this curve slightly different than the sketch. And to add some dimension at the bottom, let's make this line thicker. We just need to press more on the pencil. Like this. Let's do the same on this one. Also create these curves. And press more at the bottom as well. Let's draw these rectangles in the middle. If you like, you can put text here. Show in the direction. Let's make these lines. And on the right side, I will make it slightly thicker too. So it'll get some volume. Finally, let's go to the last layer, which is called mushroom, and outline the rest of the drawing. Here you can just pause the video. I will continue doing it. And I will see you after it is finished. The outlines are ready, and we can proceed to the fun part with watercolor. When using Procreate watercolor brushes, what makes the result look more realistic is applying a paper overlay. Most of the time I do it in the end, but in this particular case, I want to apply it in the very beginning, so we can see the result right away and make some color adjustments if needed. So we can now remove the first sketch, go to the top layer, and insert a paper overlay image, you will find it in the tutorial files. So let me go to Actions, Add, and insert the file. It is called Watercolor Paper. And it looks like this. Here it matches with the canvas size, but if you have a different canvas, you just need to scale the paper. Now let's open the layers, click on the N icon, and set the layers mode to color burn. It'll disappear. But if we try to create a layer under it, select any color from the palette and try to apply it using watercolor, it will appear again. And without the texture, it looks quite pale. I will delete the layer and start coloring. Now I'm on the layer with the greens. So I will create a layer under it. Open the color palette again and grab color number one. Let me also change the brush to foliage. Set the size to around 4% and start tipping like this. Inside the selection. It will go slightly down and cover the outlines of the mushroom. Like this. Now let's alpha lock the layer and add some shading to it. For that, I will select color number 2. And start tapping at the lower side. Like this. Building up the shape. We can also add a highlight with color number 3. Just tap a few times on top. Now let's click on the finger and select watercolor brush number 1. As you see, there are two watercolor brushes. This is the original brush, and this one is modified. It has more contrast and looks more like real watercolor. We can just set the opacity to around 90% and 
and size at around 6%. I will smudge the texture inside the shape. Just like this. So it will look more like watercolor, not so sharp. Now let's go to this layer with greens, where we have the outlines. Then alpha lock it, so we can recolor it. We can select color number 28. Go back to the layer, tap on it again and click fill layer. The color will change. Actually I think it looks too dark. So we can try to use color 26, maybe it will look better. Ok, now it looks more blended. We can go to the layer with the clothes line, add another one under it. And start coloring. For this small shape, I will pick orange color number 12. Here we can use soft watercolor, this one. Just lower the size. And start painting inside the lines. Without lifting the pencil up. Like this. Now we can pick some shade of blue, like this light one, number 14. I will make the size even smaller. And paint the next shape. In the same way. And for the stripes we can pick orange. Number 13. We can even set it to 1%. And make the lines. Now let's go to the next one. And color it into some shade of green. For example number 1. Just paint inside the outlines. I will keep it one color. And go to the next one. Let's use color 13 here. Since the shape is bigger, I will increase the size. And also paint it. This way. Let's now work on the next one. First apply base color number 1. Paint it all first. I'm not lifting the pencil up. Just coloring it. And for the stripes I will select dark green. Number 2. Lower the size and paint them, one by one. Alright, here we have the last shape. And on this one I will use color 16. Also paint it. And now it is ready. We can select color number 8. Also try to change the brush. We can use brush pen here. And just paint the small objects. Into this one color. I didn't use watercolor here because they are too small and the texture won't be seen anyway. Let me color the last two. And before recoloring the outlines, 
Let's duplicate the layer to make it more opaque and less transparent. I will also merge them. Now go to the layer with the outlines and alpha lock it. Here I will be using a few colors according to the color of the clothes. So for this one, let's use color 13. And to make it faster, we can grab medium hard airbrush from airbrushing section. I will make the size a bit smaller. And just paint on top of it. We can apply the same color here. Alright, now let's work on this one. And actually, we can also paint the stripes. Inside the shape. And for the outer shape, let's use blue. It will be number 16. If you like, you can make the size even smaller. And apply it on top of the shape. Like this. We could actually do it in the end of the tutorial. But it is fine if we do it now too. This shirt also has blue color, so we can apply it on the outlines as well. We have also this green, so let's select color number 2. Outline it outside. all these lines and then inside now we only need to recolor the rope and for that I will select color number 6 start from this side And move to the left. It'll get lighter. And now this part is also ready. Let's go to the layer with past signs. Add another one under it. And start applying the colors. Here we need to select some brownish tone. It can be number 24. So let's select watercolor brush. It can be this one. So we can paint this way. Try to stay inside the outlines, but even if you go outside it, you can always use a razor and remove it. Let me also paint this part on top, then go down. And continue coloring. Here I added a few lines for the wooden texture on the outlining stage. Ok, for the inner parts we can pick blue, let it be number 15. Just painting these rectangles. Then this one.
Oops, I forgot to paint this big part. So I will tap and hold here to go back to the previous color. And paint the stick. Let's keep it for now and recolor the outlines. So I will also alpha lock the layer. And actually to do it faster, we can just pick color 25, go back here and click fill layer. I think I will duplicate this one too. So it will get more bright. Ok, we already can see the texture, I like it. Let me just merge these two layers and go to the layer with the mushroom. I will add another one under it. And then I will show you another way to apply watercolor brushes on the bigger shapes. Let's start with the cap. We need to select the base color for it. It will be number 4. Then I will select soft watercolor number 1. Set the size to around 38% or so. And just paint like this. It can cover a bigger area. Now if we click on the arrow, you can flip it however you want, rotate and find the best position to keep some of the parts highlighted and others dark. I will put it here. Then we can go to selection, pick freehand and create a selection around this part. I will try to follow the outlines. Go down. This way. Then around the stem. I will try to keep it inside the dark line. Also continue going down. Then up again. Until we make it match. We just need to find the starting point. I think we already close. It is somewhere here. So we just need to tap. And before removing the outer part, let's save the selection. For that we need to click on this heart. And then on the plus button. Now we can invert it, swipe three fingers down and click cut. It will be removed. To shade this part easily, we can create a layer on top of this one. Go back to selection, click save and load again and pick the selection. It will be activated. Now let's click on the brush to activate it. Make sure there is soft watercolor 1 selected. Now we can make the size a bit smaller. And 
Let's pick color number 5. We can now darken these parts around the lines. Also close to the stem. Go upper. Make it also dark here. Let's move to the left side now. I will increase the size slightly and continue doing it. Building up the shading. Let's also paint here. Make this area darker. Then lower the brush size. And work on this part. I will make the size smaller. And also paint inside the cracks. As you can see, I added some hatching here. When creating outlines. So let's continue painting it. Go down. Also paint it here. And if you'd like to make the color even darker, just lift the pencil up and paint again. I will finish this crack. Make a few brush strokes here. And we can also add the shadow under the greens. Like this. Now we can go even darker. Switch to color number 6. Just make a few more strokes. With a smaller size I will paint closer to the lines. Just make it more narrow. On these lines. And on the left side as well. Let me paint a small part here. Then paint more close to the stem to create sort of a shadow here. Alright, let's keep the selection active and add a highlight using color number 7. We can just try to create another layer, maybe. I'll tap a few times on the dark areas. We can even pick white color. And paint more. It 
puțin în părți. Let's lower the size. Then go to calligraphy. Pick brush pen. Increase the size here. And add some more highlights. We can make circles or lines. Then just click on the smudge tool, pick soft watercolor, this one, and smudge them just a little bit. Alright, now the cap is almost ready. We can remove the selection, merge the layers for it, and add another one below to paint this part on top. Here we can use color number 12. Just go back to watercolor brush. And paint it carefully like this. We will recolor the outlines later. Let's first finish painting because it'll have a few colors. So I don't want to spend time on it now. Let's just pick color number 13. I'll make the size slightly bigger. And add a shadow. Keep it highlighted here, on the left side. Ok, now it is ready. Let me just select white color again. I will go back to the previous layer. And I think we can add some highlights. I'll add a layer here. Pick brush pen again. Add some more lines. just paint here and there and smudge them a little too. I will set opacity to maximum here to make it faster. Just smudge it a little bit and now I think it looks even better. We can finish these parts. Let me just merge all these layers now. Then I'll add another one under it. Start with color 4 again. Go back to watercolor brush, but this time I will change it to this one. It is just more opaque. We can pick a small size. Apply this base color. in these small shapes. And then apply shading on it. First I will apply color number 5. Just paint on the side and at the lower edge. Let's try to go even darker with color 6. Just put it more. If it goes a little outside the outlines, it's totally fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like you are working with a real watercolor brush. We can now pick white color and add these highlights. 
on the light areas. For the stems we can pick some green, for example 28. Just make the size smaller. And make a few strokes. Like this. Now it is also done. Let's not forget to paint this small green part here. And this time I will switch to foliage. Apply color number one here. We can also do it on a separate layer or right here. I will lower the size to 2%. Just tape a few times. Try to match it with the outlines. Then grab smudge tool. It is already set to watercolor. And we can just smudge it a little bit. Like this. Now we can work on the stem. I'll add another layer for it. Under layer number 11. And use the same technique as we used on the gel. We can start with color number 9. Use this brush with soft watercolor texture. Make it bigger if you like. Apply this base color. It can go outside. Then go to selection. And outline it. Following the dark lines. Of course, I'm not working on the small curves. Just considering the big ones. Let's go up here. I'm also trying to match it. And then tape to close the selection. Let's also save it first. Then invert it. And cut. We just need to swipe three fingers down. And select it from the menu. Now after the base color, we can apply shading. Let me also do it on a new layer. We just need to activate the selection. So I'm going to save and load and pick in selection number 2. Now it is active. So let's tap on the brush here. And then add a few colors. We can start with number 10. I will start drawing here on the side. Also at the lower edge. And go a little upper here. Let's create a shadow here that comes from the cap. Also consider the shape of the mushroom. And then select color number 11, which is rather dark. Let's apply it more on the edge. We can try to make strokes in different directions and right under the cap. For that I will lower the brush size. We can smudge it slightly, just using the brush. Let me apply it more at the bottom. Go up again, but 
keep the right side highlighted. Like this. I think we can remove selection for now and work on the details inside it. I will start with the sign. So we can merge these two layers definitely. And add another one above. Let's pick color number 5. And paint inside like this. You can adjust the brush size to be more accurate. I will apply only one layer of color here. Now we can select color number 6. Make the size smaller. Maybe even smaller, like 1%. And paint this side to add some volume to it because we are looking at it from the bottom. We will also recall the outlines here later. And now I think we can work on the door. We apply the same colors. So let me pick color 4 first. I will increase the size and apply this color inside the door without lifting the pencil up again. Alright, let's now go slightly darker with color number 5. I'll lower the size. It makes strokes close to these lines. Let's also make a stroke on top of it to create a shadow, lowering the size slightly so it can also go down here and just a little bit. I think it doesn't have to be very dark. So we can also paint this handle with the same color. And this part above. I'm moving to the right side. Then going down, painting it all like this, and after that we can add a shadow here by switching to color number 6. Let's put it at the lower side like this. Move a little bit to the right. And darken it at the bottom. It'll get volume as well. Now we only need to add highlights. So we can pick white color. Make some strokes here between the lines. And if they look too sharp, you can just apply a finger and smudge them. I think I will lower the size and put another highlight here on top. Ok, now we also can paint the bell. Let it be orange. So I will select color 12 first. Just paint it all like this. Then switch to color number 13. And add some shading.
Let's paint this dark part inside the bell. We can also make it even darker. Then we can pick color 23. And paint this small detail. After that I will select white color. And put a highlight. It is ready now. We can finish the windows. And after that proceed to the lower part and the bees. So let's pick this blue number 15. I will stay on the same layer. It's fine. Just paint inside the glass. Do the same here, on the second window. We can add some white highlights. I just picked color from the background. Let me smudge it. And after that I will finish the frames. And for that we can pick color number 6. Let me make the size smaller. Maybe we can even change the brush to this one. So it's not so transparent. Because the shape is small. So it is better this way. And we can also make a few layers of color. To make it darker if you like. Let's also color this one. Alright. It is now also ready. All we need to do is add some more shadows. So we need to create a layer under this one. And grab color number 8. Which is even darker. To add some dimension. We need to make a stroke on the left. Here, we can smudge it on the edges, just by making more strokes with low pressure. Also on the left side of this one. Then on the door. And around this sign. So I will first make a stroke like this. And then smudge it a little bit. Using finger. Okay. Now it is also done. I think before we finish this green part which is big and can be done fast. Let's paint these cute bees. I just want to add another layer for them. And start with the heads. We have this yellow color number 17. I'll just make the size bigger. And apply this base color on the head. Then lower it. And paint the body as well. 
since we have this color selected. Let's also paint this one. I'm not lifting the pencil up here, just coloring it. And for the shading I will apply color 18. We can just put it here on the side. Also at the lower edge. And under the wings. Let's now work on this one. Also put a shadow. On the side and at the bottom. Let me now shade the body. And at the end we can paint the wings. Using color 19. I will apply it first time. Then lift the pencil up. And paint again. Just to make it look slightly darker. So it won't blend with the background, which will be painted in the same color. Let's now paint the wings of the second bee. I will paint one more time. And to add some more cuteness to the bees, we can paint some cute cheeks. Using this pink color number 4. We just need to add one more layer to keep the color same, because when the colors are blended they may change a little bit. The size is small here, and we can just paint these cute circles under the eyes. Let's do it on this one. And they are totally ready. Now let's work on the stones. For that I will add a layer above the stem. It will be here. And start applying the base colors. Starting with color 27. I'll just make the size at around 3%. And paint the stones one by one, keeping the gaps between them, that we later will paint in another color. I am painting inside the outlines. Some of the stones have two lines at the bottom, just for some dimension. Let me just go down, this way. I will paint this at the bottom. Another one. And the last two. Now let's shade them quickly. I will apply color 29. And the lower sides. They will also get some volume and shading. Just going down here as well. Let's paint a few more here. And this can stay highlighted. To add even more highlights, 
let's apply white color. And to make it look pure white, I will add one more layer. Above the current one. Just make some strokes on top of the stones. We can also try to change the brush into brush pen, add more highlights, or different shapes. Let's make this more highlighted. And we can smudge it just a little bit. Keep some of them sharp. In the end we will get this. Now we can select color 26. Put another layer here right above the stem and then paint in the gaps. Let's just go back to watercolor brush and start darkening it. We can do it by tipping to get the color darker. I will just go down here We can create some intersections to get the shadows even darker. Also I remove straight lines here that we had in the first sketch. So the edges are not so sharp. Let me just finish this dark areas I'll go more down and keep the last strokes so now it'll look like this we can paint the big green part finally and then finish the background so let's add a layer under all layers and pick color number 20. Let's switch to this brush that has more light and dark areas. Make the size bigger and paint the area. I'm not lifting the pencil up here. Let's also do it here on the right side. And then add a few more shades. Start with color 21 for the shadow. We can put it here. Close to the road. And also under the sign. I'll make the size slightly smaller. Add another shadow here. Go a little bit down. Then pick the slight yellow, number 22. And paint slightly. Do the same on the opposite side. Now let's paint this bush on the right. Here I will select color number one, so we can do it same as we did with this foliage. So we need to switch to foliage brush. We 
can also add another layer. I will adjust the brush size and create the shape. Let's also put a shadow here with color too at the lower edge and then smudge it with watercolor brush. Here I'll make the size slightly bigger. And smudge the texture. In the end we will get this. Let's keep using the same color. Just add another layer somewhere here, above the windows and the door. And change the brush. This time it will be brush pen, so we can paint the small parts. But I will still increase the brush size. And start drawing like this. Changing the pressure on the brush. Let's draw this one here on the right, then also on the left side. I have a few here. Let's not forget to paint the stems. And this is done now. Before we finish the background, let's recolor the outlines of this part. First I will work on the mushroom. Let's find the layer with the outlines. It is this one. And I'll follow it first. Then select color number 8. Go to airbrushing and pick medium hard airbrush. Let me start recoloring it carefully. On the cap. I will try to recolor all the lines. Inside it. Then outside. Let's also do it here. I think now it is ready. It looks red now. And for this part we can pick orange. Number 13. Let me recolor it quickly. And after that we can work on the stem. Let's select some shade of brown. I want to try number 23. Work on the sides first, then on this part. Move down. Now we can pick color 8 again. Recolor the outlines on the windows. The second one. Then this sign. Together with the text. 
the door. Including these lines in the middle. And for the bell I will select orange. Alright, let's see what else we have. We can work on the bees. We can also use some brown color here. I want to try this one. It is number 11. So we can just do it this way. Very fast. Okay. Now we only have this green part left. So let's select color 28, I think. And recolor it quickly. Together with the rocks. I will go to the right side. And now it is also done. All I want to do is fix the outlines on the sign. Let me find it. It was this one. So we can just go to adjustments, pick hue saturation brightness and lower the brightness a little bit to make it darker. So now it will pop up from the background. We can now create a lay under all layers. Pick this light blue number 19. Go back to the brush set. And grab the soft water color brush number 1. Here we can definitely make the size bigger. And apply this color around the mushroom. It can even go slightly down. Now let me select white color. I will add one more layer. And pick this cloudy splash brush. Its size is set to 92%. Let me just make it full opacity. And just make a couple of strokes. Until the splashes appear. Let's now go back here. I will grab a razor. And remove this blue color from the mushroom. We can keep it only at some parts, close to the edges. But I wanted to have original colors. Like this. Now it is almost ready. We still have white color selected. Then I will create a layer above all layers under the texture and pick stars brush. This time it is set to 90% and I will make a few strokes all around the canvas to add these fine cute details as circles. And now after this final step our cute mushroom house illustration is complete. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more tutorials and brush sets, check out my Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon!